All right, prepare to be shocked as we delve into the world of celebrity scandals and legal troubles. From Hollywood A-listers to music icons, these celebs are currently facing the harsh reality of life behind bars. These once glamorous stars are now experiencing a different kind of spotlight as they navigate their way through the justice system. Stay tuned as we explore the shocking stories behind these 15 celebs currently rotting in jail. Get ready for a jaw-dropping journey into the darker side of fame and fortune. Danny Masterson, a name that many people recognize from his role as Stephen Hyde in the popular TV show, That 70s Show. However, in May 2023, Masterson made headlines for a much darker reason. He was convicted of some disturbing crimes that took place back in 2003 involving two women. Unfortunately, justice was not fully served as charges from a third woman resulted in a hung jury. Nevertheless, in September 2023, Masterson was sentenced to a staggering 30 years to life in prison for his actions. What makes this case even more shocking is the fact that Masterson and his victims were all part of the Church of Scientology at the time of the assaults. This revelation shed light on the church's involvement in the case and their attempts to silence the victims. The Church of Scientology has long been criticized for its controversial practices, and this case only added fuel to the fire. The church's interference in the case resulted in a devastating 20-year delay in bringing these heinous crimes to justice. It is truly disheartening to think about the pain and suffering that the victims endured for all those years while their voices were silenced. The fact that Masterson's celebrity status and affiliation with the church allowed him to evade punishment for so long is a stark reminder of the power dynamics at play in our society. Overall, the conviction of Danny Masterson serves as a reminder that no one is above the law, regardless of their fame or influence. Shannon Richardson, once a rising star in the entertainment industry, now finds herself in a very different spotlight. This former actress, who had appeared in popular television shows and films such as The Walking Dead, has become infamous for her involvement in a shocking criminal case. Richardson's name will forever be associated with the chilling act of sending rice-and-laced letters to two prominent figures in American politics, former U.S. President Barack Obama and New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg. But what led this once promising actress down such a dark path? In a twisted attempt to frame her husband, Shannon Richardson resorted to a heinous crime that would ultimately cost her freedom. Her plan was both desperate and calculated as she aimed to divert suspicion away from herself and onto her unsuspecting spouse. Unfortunately for Richardson, her scheme was quickly unraveled and the consequences were severe. In July 2014, she was convicted and sentenced to 18 years behind bars. Shannon Richardson's story serves as a cautionary tale for both celebrities and ordinary individuals alike. It is a reminder that fame does not exempt one from the consequences of their choices and actions. Richardson's fall from grace serves as a powerful reminder that our decisions have real-life ramifications. It is a stark reminder that even those who appear to have it all can find themselves facing the harsh reality of life behind bars. Michael Jace, once a familiar face on our television screens, is now a convicted murderer serving time behind bars. Known for his role as the dedicated Los Angeles police officer Julian Lowe in the popular FX drama The Shield, Jace's portrayal of this complex character won him critical acclaim and a dedicated fan base. However, his acting career came to an abrupt end when he found himself on the wrong side of the law. In addition to his role on The Shield, Jace also made a memorable appearance in an episode of Cold Case where he played Andre Tibbs, an ex-convict accused of murder. Little did anyone know that life would imitate art for Jace, as he would soon find himself facing similar charges in real life. Tragedy struck on May 20, 2014, when Jace was arrested after fatally shooting his wife, April Jace. The news sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry and the public alike. It was a stark reminder that behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, 
there are real people with real problems. After a lengthy legal battle, a jury ultimately convicted Jace of second-degree murder on May 31, 2016. The following month, he was sentenced to 40 years to life in prison, effectively ending any hopes of a comeback or redemption. Jace's fall from grace serves as a chilling reminder that fame and success do not guarantee happiness or a life free from tragedy. Ryan Grantham was a rising star in the Canadian entertainment industry with a career that seemed destined for greatness. He had appeared in nearly 40 movies and TV shows, showcasing his talent and versatility as an actor. From his humble beginnings in the 2007 television movie, The Secret of the Nutcracker, Grantham quickly caught the attention of industry insiders and audiences alike. Once a rising star, his career came crashing down in the most tragic way imaginable. On that fateful day in March 2020, he committed an act so heinous that it shocked the nation. According to the New York Times, Grantham shot his own mother in the back of the head, ending her life in an instant. The news sent shockwaves through Hollywood and left everyone wondering what could have driven someone so talented to commit such a horrific act. But the story doesn't end there. In a shocking twist, Grantham later made a video confession where he revealed even darker intentions. He had actually planned to assassinate Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. It was a chilling revelation that left everyone stunned. In the end, Grantham decided against carrying out his plan and instead turned himself in to the authorities. It was a small glimmer of remorse in an otherwise cold and calculated crime. The justice system swiftly delivered its verdict, sentencing Grantham to a lifetime behind bars with the possibility of parole after 14 years. There are few things more shocking than seeing a beloved celebrity fall from grace. Their once shining star tarnished by the dark secrets they've been hiding. One such example is Robert Sylvester Kelly, better known as R. Kelly. This talented singer, songwriter, instrumentalist, and record producer had achieved prolific success in both R&B and hip-hop. His music resonated with millions of fans around the world, but little did they know that behind the scenes, a predator was lurking. Kelly's fall from grace came in 2022 when he was convicted of federal racketeering and sex trafficking charges. These charges were the result of decades of criminal allegations involving minors. It was a shocking revelation that left many people questioning how such a talented artist could be capable of such heinous acts. The truth is, fame and success can often mask the dark side of a person's character. Now, instead of performing on stage to adoring fans, R. Kelly is rotting away in prison. His once luxurious lifestyle has been replaced with a cold cell and the company of other inmates. The 31-year prison sentence he is currently serving serves as a reminder that no one is above the law, no matter how famous or talented they may be. Harvey Weinstein, once an influential figure in the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, now finds himself rotting in prison. The downfall of this former powerhouse began when sexual abuse allegations from the late 1970s started to surface. As more than 80 women came forward with accusations of sexual harassment, it became clear that Weinstein's reign of terror had finally caught up with him. The repercussions for his heinous actions were swift and severe. Weinstein was dismissed from his own company and expelled from the prestigious Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. No longer could he hide behind his powerful connections or his industry clout. The voices of the victims were finally being heard and justice was on its way. In May 2018, the long arm of the law finally caught up with Harvey Weinstein. He was arrested and charged, marking a turning point in the fight against sexual misconduct in the entertainment industry. The trial that followed was a pivotal moment as it showcased the strength and resilience of the survivors who bravely shared their stories. In 2020, the verdict was finally reached. Harvey Weinstein was found guilty of two out of five felony counts of sexual assault. The sentence, 23 years behind bars. It was a moment of triumph for the victims who had endured years of pain and suffering. And it was a moment of reckoning for Weinstein as he realized that his actions had consequences. Today, Harvey Weinstein serves as a stark reminder 
that no amount of power or influence can shield someone from the consequences of their actions. His imprisonment sends a message to other celebrities who may have thought they were untouchable. The days of celebs getting away with their crimes are over. Justice will prevail, and those who abuse their power will find themselves rotting in prison. C. Murder, also known as Corey Miller, was once a rising star in the music industry. With his unique style and hard-hitting lyrics, he quickly gained fame in the mid-1990s. His album Life or Death, released in 1998, went platinum, solidifying his status as a rap icon. However, his success was short-lived as he found himself embroiled in a tragic and controversial case that would change his life forever. In 2002, Miller was arrested in connection with the murder of 16-year-old Steve Thomas. The incident shocked the music world and fans alike, who could not believe that their beloved rapper could be involved in such a heinous crime. The trial was highly publicized, and despite maintaining his innocence throughout, Miller was convicted and sentenced to life in prison on August 14, 2009. Gone are the days of sold-out concerts, adoring fans, and platinum records. Now Miller finds himself rotting in the Louisiana State Penitentiary. It's a stark contrast to the glamorous life he once led as a successful rapper. Jared Fogel, once the face of Subway restaurants and an inspiration to many for his incredible weight loss journey, now finds himself rotting away in a prison cell. It's a shocking turn of events for someone who was once admired and respected by millions. From 2000 to 2015, Fogel graced our television screens as Subway's spokesperson. Fogel's story was inspiring to say the least. He had managed to shed an astounding 245 pounds between 1998 and 1999, thanks in part to his frequent visits to Subway restaurants as part of his diet plan. His success caught the attention of Subway executives who saw an opportunity to capitalize on his story and hired him as their official spokesperson in the following year. Over the course of his 15-year tenure with Subway, Fogel became a household name. His popularity soared as he appeared in over 300 commercials, spreading the message of healthy eating and the benefits of choosing Subway as a healthier fast food option. He became a symbol of hope for those struggling with their weight and an inspiration for anyone looking to make positive changes in their lives. Unfortunately, Fogel's image as a role model was shattered when allegations of inappropriate relations with minors surfaced in 2007. These disturbing accusations tarnished his reputation and led to a long and arduous legal battle. In 2015, after years of investigation, the FBI finally arrested Fogel, and he was subsequently sentenced to 15 years and eight months in federal prison. It's a tragic fall from grace for someone who was once hailed as a celebrity success story. In the world of celebrity, it's becoming more common to see stars rise to fame and fortune, only to come crashing down and find themselves behind bars. Marion Hugh Suge Knight is one such example. Known as a music executive and convicted felon, Knight was the co-founder and former CEO of Death Row Records, a label that played a pivotal role in the commercial success of gangster rap during the 1990s. However, his involvement in the music industry is not the only reason why Knight's name is often associated with controversy and criminal activity. One of the most infamous incidents involving Knight was his connection to the fatal shooting of Tupac Shakur in 1996. Knight was driving the vehicle in which Shakur was a passenger on that fateful night. This event not only shook the music industry, but also further solidified Knight's reputation as a controversial figure. Although he has denied any involvement in the shooting, Knight's association with such a high-profile crime only added fuel to the fire. However, it was a fatal hit-and-run incident in 2015 that ultimately led to Knight's downfall. He was sentenced to 28 years in prison for the crime, leaving behind a legacy tarnished by violence and criminal behavior. The once powerful music executive now finds himself rotting in prison, serving his sentence and reflecting on a life that took him from the pinnacle of success to the depths of despair. It's always shocking when we see our favorite celebrities fall from grace. 
One such example is the Chrisley family, who gained fame through their reality TV show, Chrisley Knows Best. Premiering in 2014, the show gave viewers a glimpse into the extravagant lives of real estate tycoon Todd Chrisley and his affluent family. However, the glitz and glamour came crashing down when Todd and his wife Julie were convicted of serious federal charges. Todd and Julie Chrisley found themselves in hot water for bank fraud, tax evasion, and submitting false documents to obtain loans for their lavish lifestyle. It's hard to imagine that someone living a life of luxury would resort to such illegal activities, but as the saying goes, money can't buy happiness. In this case, it seems that the Chrisley's desire for more and more led them down a dark path. In November 2022, the couple faced the consequences of their actions as they were sentenced for their crimes. Todd Cressley received a hefty 12-year prison sentence, leaving fans stunned and disappointed. This once charismatic and larger-than-life figure will now spend the next decade behind bars, paying the price for his fraudulent activities. But Todd wasn't the only one to face justice. His wife, Julie, was also sentenced to seven years in prison for her involvement in the crimes. It's a sad turn of events for a family that once seemed to have it all. The Chrysleys went from being reality TV stars to becoming infamous examples of celebrities who let greed get the best of them. Joseph Allen Maldonado, better known as Joe Exotic or the Tiger King, is a larger-than-life character who captured the attention of the nation through his outlandish personality and captivating stories. From operating the Greater Wynwood Exotic Animal Park in Oklahoma, to his media appearances, Joe Exotic seemed to revel in the spotlight. However, his fame came crashing down when he was convicted of a shocking crime. In January 2020, Joe Exotic was sentenced to 22 years in prison for attempting to hire hitmen to kill Carol Baskin, an animal welfare activist and his chief rival in the world of big cats. Baskin, who runs a rescue sanctuary for these majestic creatures in Florida, narrowly escaped harm. This bizarre plot only added to the already sensationalized story surrounding Joe Exotic, making him a true figure of intrigue and controversy. The story of Joe Exotic serves as a cautionary tale, highlighting the consequences of letting fame and ambition cloud one's judgment. While he may have entertained millions with his eccentricities and unorthodox lifestyle, it ultimately led to his downfall. Amy Rose Locaine, once a rising star in the world of television and film, has now found herself in a very different spotlight. Known for her memorable roles in movies like Cry Baby and School Ties, Locaine's talent and beauty captivated audiences. However, her career took a sharp turn when she was involved in a fatal DUI car crash in 2010. In September 2020, after a lengthy legal battle, Locaine began serving an eight-year sentence for her role in the tragic accident. The incident not only claimed the life of a 60-year-old woman, but also left another victim with severe injuries. It's a heartbreaking and sobering reminder of the devastating consequences of drunk driving. This isn't the first time Locaine has faced the consequences of her actions. Initially, she was sentenced to three years in prison, but due to the leniency of the original sentence, she served only two and a half years before being resentenced. It's clear that the justice system is taking this case seriously and holding her accountable for her actions. Locaine's fall from grace is a stark reminder that celebrities are not immune to the consequences of their actions. As fans, it's natural to feel disappointed and saddened by Locaine's choices. We once admired her talent and enjoyed her performances on screen. However, it's important to remember that celebrities are human beings too, capable of making mistakes and poor decisions. The case of Amy Locaine serves as a cautionary tale for all of us. It reminds us of the dangers of drinking and driving and the devastating impact it can have on innocent lives. Joseph Jungman's son, a name that was once associated with fame and success, has now become synonymous with a chilling and disturbing tale of murder and violence. Born in South Korea, Sun's journey took him from the glitz and glamour of the entertainment industry to the confines of a prison cell. Before his downfall, he had made a name for himself as a multi-talented individual, excelling in various fields such as mixed martial arts, kickboxing, 
professional wrestling, and even acting. It was his appearance in the iconic 1997 film Austin Powers' International Man of Mystery that catapulted him into the spotlight. However, his fame was short-lived as he found himself entangled in a web of criminal activities that would forever change the course of his life. In 2011, Sun was convicted and sentenced to seven years to life in prison in California for the horrifying crimes of kidnapping, torture, and sexual assault against a young woman. These heinous acts shocked the public and shattered any remaining semblance of his once promising career. But the darkness did not stop there. Inside the prison walls, Sun's violent tendencies continued to manifest themselves. In a tragic turn of events, he beat his cellmate, Michael Thomas Graham, to death. The consequences were severe, as Sun was handed an additional 27 years for voluntary manslaughter. Now serving a total of 34 years to life, Sun's story serves as a haunting reminder of how quickly one's life can unravel. Eric Naposky, once a celebrated NFL player, now finds himself in the depths of a prison cell. His rise to fame and fortune in the world of football seemed like a dream come true, but his fall from grace has been nothing short of shocking. From 1988 to 1997, Naposky showcased his skills on the field, captivating fans and leaving an indelible mark on the game. However, his life took a dark turn when he was arrested in May 2009 accused of a heinous crime that shook the nation. The murder of millionaire investor Bill McLaughlin sent shockwaves through the affluent community of Newport Beach, California. The details that emerged during the investigation were straight out of a crime thriller. Naposky, along with Nanette Johnston, McLaughlin's girlfriend, and Naposky's secret lover, conspired to kill McLaughlin in order to collect his life insurance. The motive was as twisted as it was sinister. Naposky's trial gripped the nation as the sordid details of the murder plot were revealed. The courtroom was filled with tension as the prosecution painted a picture of a cold-blooded killer who had carefully planned and executed the murder. Despite Naposky's claims of innocence, the evidence against him was overwhelming. In 2012, he was convicted of first-degree murder and sentenced to life imprisonment without parole. The once promising NFL player now spends his days confined within the walls of a prison cell. His athletic prowess and achievements on the field are nothing but distant memories, overshadowed by the heinous crime he committed. It serves as a stark reminder that fame and success can be fleeting, and that even those who seem invincible can fall from grace. Naposky's story is a cautionary tale for all, reminding us that our choices and actions have consequences that can alter the course of our lives forever.